Remember to make sure you've caught up with episode 8 of WandaVision before you watch the review. Once you've done that, I'll meet you back here. As always then, there goes my spoiler warning and don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoy the video. Now this was the episode we'd been waiting for. Now even though this one was about 40 minutes long and a lot more took place, I'm still gonna go through it quicker than usual otherwise the video will take ages. And long story short, this was basically Wanda's complete backstory. Although we got a very brief one for Agatha as well. I hope we can get a little more of that backstory because it literally skipped over 300 years. Because for me, she's not a great villain so far. Her motivation is pursuing power, hence why she wants to find out how Wanda created her own Westview. Although to be honest, we do tend to forget that the MCU villains can be very hit or miss. This time we travelled back in time to go through the most significant parts of Wanda's life and yeah, that's that's not Magneto. And that's not Quicksilver either. <sighs> the X-Men aren't back yet. I hold my hands up, I got that one completely wrong. But now we know how Wanda's powers were amplified when she was in the Hydra facilities. Though I'm not sure why the Space Stone suddenly became the Mind Stone. But getting to see that start of her relationship with Vision was a very nice moment for sure. After that we got to see Wanda being, well, reasonable. She didn't plan on stealing Vision's body, she just wanted to bury him and sure she breaks the glass but eventually she backs down. And as she drives into Westview and finds the terrain that Vision wanted their house to be in, it's heartbreaking. Wanda is such a tragic character and you know what? I don't blame her for doing what she did. That's exactly why I wanted her as a villain. She was so much more intriguing that way. But no, that's not what we got. At least the Wicked Witch gave a really epic explanation of who Wanda really is. This is chaos magic, Wanda. And that makes you... the Scarlet Witch. The ninth episode is gonna be crazy. We're probably going to get all the fights we haven't gotten so far, all crammed up into 30 or 40 minutes. I mean, we have a fake Quicksilver, we have Wanda vs Agatha, Monica Rambo and her new powers, and... a white Vision. I guess this new Vision is going to have his memory wiped or something, and he's going to be acting more like a robot. And once Wanda sees that, she's going to have to accept his death and fight him. But wait, aren't there two Visions now? You know, like a fake one and a robot one? Wow, what a mess. But I still think Wanda should have been the villain. Drop a comment below with your favourite moment of the episode and let me know what you think will happen in the finale. I mean, they could still have one more reveal up their sleeve. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you know when the final review is up next week. I've been currently busy with university, but I'm going to be working on a ton of new videos very soon, especially video essays. The link to my Twitter is also in the description, don't forget to follow me there as well. However, that's all I've got for this week. I hope to see you guys around here very often. This is me, signing off.